Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and we are gonna do a tier list for all legendary DPS units in 26.2 patch. And that is live from yesterday, which is 1st of October. Um, I will try to make it uh, as fast as possible and try to give a little bit of details, a little bit of explanation, of course and uh, yeah i will of course do this tier list based on the max level 15 of the unit with max units and and all that stuff that's what i've been uh, fighting against on leaderboard at around eight nine or ten thousand trophies or even higher um so hopefully you will understand it that it's not the tier list for uh, I don't know, 2,000 crit, 3,000 crit, 4,000 crit, because the meta is completely different. Monk can be at the highest tier at that level. Uh, and for example, uh, Minotaur or uh, uh, or Bard can be lower than Monk. So hopefully, hopefully, please understand that. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in the Rush Real Market, you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions, you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. All right, uh, we have tier list. Uh, first and the best tier is of course God tier. Then we have can win most of the games. And then we have 50-50, uh, depending on tiles, depending on the matchup, etc. And then if you don't have anything else, um, then you can play it, of course. And uh, last, and least is not playable at all in my opinion uh, so i'll begin with the, the last year um, just my thoughts that these legendary units are basically not played whatsoever uh, and i will begin with uh, putting cursor in there i don't think cursor can be played in any decks in any with with any hero with any equipment whatsoever i just don't see it happening um, yeah so that's that uh another another <clears throat> legendary that i would put in not playable in my opinion um is right now uh, of course meteor meteor after uh, death wave being introduced into the game i don't think it's it has any place because of the portal mage portal mage right now is not sending as many monsters on the uh, opponent's side uh as as it, as it did so i don't so i just don't see it happening i, I mean maybe like two or three minutes into the death wave is max max what i saw i think even momo uh posted the game where meteor reached around three minutes and it was already a limit um all right so next 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 unit in that tier is i would put um tesla tesla right now or maybe maybe not tesla maybe i would play Tes tesla here all right uh, maybe i will come back to this tier maybe i will add something up uh, let's <clears throat> move quickly to it. if you don't have anything else i'll try to give my thoughts and explanation why i did put such unit in that tier uh yeah so that's tesla you already know that and Tesla right now is not in the best of shape, even though it received some of the buffs in a row. I don't, I just don't see it happening. Um, sure, it can reach like three to four minutes in in good conditions with good equipment, with uh, with good hero and and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> Sorry, um, but honestly it's a techno unit and if you have techno techno um, techno equipment if you have a uh, good legendary hero or good max uh, epic hero then i would much rather play for example riding hood which is which is already a spoiler um it's just a better techno unit dps unit of course so that's that uh another unit i would put robot uh robot is just a worse much worse version than uh, minor in toxic decks or 
um, in uh, Dan Sidok. Uh, I just don't. I don't know. Like for me, the robot is just a very old unit that should receive some sort of a rework or maybe a buff. A buff. Maybe new hero could help him out. I, I just don't don't see it in in this version uh, right now. Um, another unit, in my opinion, is Blade Master. Blade Master, of course. <clears throat> Blade Master can win games. It, it's not like it cannot. Uh, so maybe I would put it from the left, um, just like that, because from the left it's better unit than uh, what is on the right, in my opinion, in in my tier list. Uh, Blade Master can win games, can win, uh, cannot win all of the games, cannot win most of the games, cannot win like 50% of the games that you play. Um, you can grind with it uh, throughout the season. Sure, you can reach like 8,000 maybe with it. Um, but just I, I just don't think that Blade Master, even though it received also a buff in recent patches, I just don't see it happening. All right, let's move to the next legendary unit. I think in this tier also um, deserves to be a cultist. I would put cultist somewhere over here between robot and Tesla. I just uh, I don't know. Like cultist, I think it's forgotten completely. I uh, didn't receive any buffs, and any nerfs, nothing really. Uh, no hero uh, helped him out any anywhere. Even Fortuna is not that good with cultists right now. Uh, so yeah, just simply like that. And plus cultists re re requires you to play sword as equipment, not spear, uh, to maximize its damage. So um, yeah, it's really hard to pivot towards cultist uh, unless you already have that equipment, of course. <clears throat> so, um, I would also put a maybe not, maybe Inquisitor somewhere. Yeah, I would put it, yeah, something like that. I think it's equally good and bad as Tesla right now. Uh, Blade Master, unfortunately, for Inquisitor, Blade Master is just a, a bit better than it. Um, so, you really need uh, top-notch Zeus to make it work uh, in any variation if you want to play it as DPS, if you want to play it Toxic with Clock. Um, you just need a really, really good Zeus and then again you need a really, really good uh, Heroic for um, Zeus because that's how Zeus work. Uh, level 20 Zeus without Heroic item or with very low I level item, uh, it just doesn't work that well. Um, so that's my opinion. Uh, sure, I saw Godlike Mike reaching, I think, six minutes or five thirty minutes into the death wave, but he has really good account. Um, he has uh, set bonus in his equipment. He has really good Zeus with really good item, so that's why it works that well. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend trying it honestly because. Uh, most likely you just don't have his equipment and Zeus. All right, so let's move on. Uh, I would put uh, Sword DPS as well here. I just don't... <clears throat> I saw people hyping up Sword DPS uh, in current meta that it's really good, uh, that the Harley Quinn helps him out. You can play it with pretty much every hero and stuff and stuff like that. Honestly, I just don't see it happening maybe maybe it can move up the tier to 50 50 in my opinion maybe uh that's why i'm putting it as, as at first i know it has really good damage but uh, its cleanse is just not that great in my opinion uh, it will lose against toxic most of the games against toxic uh if dark priest just hits it you have to merge a lot of blue swords for the cleansing talents uh, so that's why I'm not willing to put it higher. Uh, so yeah. Uh, next unit that I will move on to is uh, Sidok. Sidok I would put in 50-50 right now. I think Sidok <coughs> got deranked from best toxic unit uh, in the game right now. If there is a better one. I already spoiled that. Um, but Sidok can win games, but also can lose games. It is really good, extremely good against most of the, most of the units. But unfortunately, 
against top tier units uh, that I will talk about later on uh, it, it, it just doesn't work uh, sure it has highest DPS uh, from all of the toxic units um, but it's just not it anymore um, maybe something will change maybe it will move uh, up the tiers if other units will receive nerfs um, or buffs um, so yeah I would put it at 50-50 like you can win games but you can lose games very easily like you, you know you know how it is with C-Dog with Toxic decks alright so let's move on uh, I would put Riding Hood as well here but above um, above of course C-Dog Riding Hood is really forgotten like people has been really sleeping on Riding Hood. Riding Hood can reach 6 minutes and 50 seconds even. Um, maybe in better conditions to 7 minutes. I think Riding Hood is extremely good, especially with the recent buff on the level 15 talent. Uh, when now it's given a mana and a bonus, uh, bonus attack damage, I think, from the feeding to the wolves. Um, so yeah, I think it can really upset some people, uh, some people can underestimate uh, the opponent that is playing a Riding Hood, so maybe uh, that can, you know, win you some more games than 50%. Alright, so uh, next unit that I would talk about is Monk. Monk I would put, uh, I, I would say in terms of win rate, in my opinion, in terms of uh, the best way to win the games uh, is equally to, to C-Dog. Um, but I will put it above just because Monk has a much easier time against C-Dog than C-Dog has it against Monk because of the clans from the ability. Uh, Monk, uh, I've tested Monk uh, a few times already. Monk can reach at the top of the hero level, uh, hero item level, equipment with set bonus, with the perfect enchantments. Um, Monk can reach around 5 minutes, 5.30, maybe 6 minutes at best. Um, but it lacks the, the, the damage to wave, like basically it clears more, uh, um, bosses really really good, like it's really good uh, efficient against bosses, but it sadly sucks against waves, uh, just because it doesn't have uh, that much of a AoE damage and uh, I don't think it will change ever, you would have to build 2 or maybe even 3 uh, intersections that is not really optimal because you will get stuck at some point and you will not get enough stacks on each of the main monks so I just don't see it uh, any above in, in any above of the tiers so all right let's move on uh, I would put also Banshee in this uh, Banshee Coven uh, not the not the other talent uh, wait, Banshee Coven. Uh, you know that the, the Banshee with seven seven Banshees. I don't remember the name of the talent right now. All right, yeah, it's Banshee Coven. Uh, it's the where you you have to play seven Banshees. Um, I just don't, I just don't see it. Uh, maybe with Fortuna, maybe it can win some games, but I just don't see uh, enough board, enough play, sp free space on board to have seven banshees and then earth elementals and then uh, scrappers uh, or, or other units, trappers. I just don't see it. Uh, I just don't. I just don't see it. You know, I I don't want to talk about it anymore. And uh, just just really weak talent in my opinion. All right, uh, another unit in this tier. I would put demon hunter somewhere up around here and here I would say that Demon Hunter requires you to play basically perfect perfectly uh, around its stacks like you, you cannot just build seven six or seven Demon Hunters and, and pray for pray to God that you are gonna receive enough stacks on each Demon Hunter right now you have to build it just like in the old ways uh, you played Mermaid with Demon Hunter you have to place two or three of your main Demon Hunters in early, early waves and you have to gather as many stacks as possible then you build up to for the, the Demon Hunters at the end you don't rush it you cannot rush it otherwise you will lose and and that's how it is uh, I think Demon Hunter obviously will lose against Toxics 
uh, that's why I'm not gonna put it any higher. Uh, but I think it can reach like 6 30 minutes in, in good conditions. <clears throat> Alright, let's move to the next unit. I think it is a Genie Ifrit, the red talent. I would put it, uh, I think it's, <clears throat> in my opinion, equal to Demon Hunter right now. Um, it's not that good because of the death wave, but it's still kind of good if you have any legendary hero or maybe uh, you play it with snowflake uh, with good equipment and, and all the stuff i just think genie is not a really good uh, legendary unit to pivot just because uh, if you play it with snowflake you need a really good stuff if you play it with zeus you need a, a really good sword or bow uh, so you have already two equipments uh, different right so you cannot max both of them at the same time unless you are a Giga Whale. Um, if you want to play it with Fortuna, uh, then you need the Amulet of Swiftness. If you play it with um, Zeus or Snowflake, you need Amulet of Growth. So already, again, two uh, other equipments. I just don't see it being the best unit to pivot, especially if you are not spending a, a lot, a lot in this game so i wouldn't recommend it um all right so let's move on <clears throat> can win most of the games and here will be interesting uh, because i would put i will i will fill up the the whole um category and then we'll move on yeah that's that's how i would do it definitely um i think right now something like that would be accurate I think Genie Sultan uh, with Fortuna is currently really rising in popularity and in win rate. Um, it can be played with Zeus, it can be played with Fortuna, um, probably can be played with other uh, other heroes like Mermaid or maybe Snowflake. Uh, it's really good, it's reaching 6.30 already, uh, maybe even higher when people learn how to play it correctly. Um, it's really good. Uh, but again, just like with Geneva, it, you just need a lot of equipment uh, equipment uh, pieces to, to make it work with other heroes. Uh, so it's really hard to pivot if you are a free-to-play player or you are not spending fuck, thousands of, of dollars in this game. So yeah, that's it. Uh, Bart, Bart is just <clears throat> standing in 8 here uh, since the trend release. Uh, and and since the death wave, I just don't think it's. Uh, I think it's good, still good. It's still the same bar because bar didn't receive any changes. I just think that there are better units right now. Currently, I think it's equal to <clears throat> some of it. Uh, maybe I would put it like that, something like that. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, maybe I will add Bruiser here because I don't think Bruiser is that great <clears throat> as people hype it up. Uh, maybe I will change my mind. Maybe I will discover something uh, that is that makes me believe Bruiser is in God tier. But right now, I, I think it just can win most of your games. Which is already good because Bruiser has been forgotten for quite a while now. Uh, especially as a DPS unit, not with Necro or other stuff. Uh, Alright, so that's two, and uh, we have Banshee Coven, Banshee Coven, Salitu, Salitu, the, the one that you need to have four Banshees on your board. Um, Banshee, Banshee is really good, like I'm surprised that Banshee is doing really good, it can reach also 7.30 minutes. Uh, really really good unit very solid although it can be screwed by a lot of the bosses um one flip by bedlam one dark priest one um even even if you cannot maintain your merge ranks or not only banshees but uh, earth elementals or trappers and and you are you can be screwed that's why i'm putting it the last in this tier because it's the more the least reliable out of those four units all right and we move on to god tier <clears throat> all right so let's talk about what's the best and what's 
top two and what's top three uh, in current current meta i would put it like that and i will explain in just a bit <clears throat> i would put it like that and the reasoning trend sure received a nerf um from base damage and from the level nine right side talent of course by 0.2 percent but i still believe that it's going to be the best dps unit in the game uh, the reason is that it just benefits uh, so much from legendary heroes, all of them basically from, from Necro, from, from Fortuna the most, from Zeus, from pre-upgrades, it's just the best and uh, its cleanse is also really, really, really extremely good. Um, so I just don't see uh, anything better currently in the game. And yeah, that's basically it. I, I, don't think I need to talk about it anymore. I just think Trent is still the best unit. Um, it might be changed <laughs> in a few days, maybe in a few weeks, but we'll see. Uh, Halloween is coming. Perhaps a new unit will come out uh, if they follow up the trends from last year. Of course, last year we received Riding Hood. Um, so yeah, we'll see uh, how, it, how it will be. Uh, second unit, top two in my opinion currently is Mino. Mino, whatever you want to call it, however you want to call it. <clears throat> Mino with Necro uh, Toxic deck is the new best Toxic deck currently because of the stuns, because of the Witches, because of the Frosts, because of the Summoner, because of the Necro. It's just extremely powerful if you know how to play it and if you know how to master it. You can win games in, in first wave, in first two waves, in first three waves is just extremely powerful <clears throat> just like i said if you know how to play it and unfortunately not a lot of people have minor maxed not a lot of people have a necro maxed not a lot of people know how to play this deck so maybe that's why it's not so popular but you can trust me it's currently in my opinion top two deck to grind your pvp with um but yeah and top three currently, I think a Spirit Master, even after nerves, uh, would uh, I would put it equally to Bard right now because of the nerves. Uh, it received a attack speed boost nerf from its talent. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, I just think that uh, Spirit Master is still really good. Don't get me wrong, but it is not as powerful as it was, of course. Uh, it can be utilized with Zeus, it can be utilized with Necro as a semi-toxic deck and it can be played of course with Fortuna, For with Fortuna is the best variation of this deck and and yeah. Uh, so, okay, so that's my tier list for patch 26.2. I hope you guys understood my thought process and hope you guys like the tier list basically and yeah like subscribe and comment down below uh, i always read and respond to every comment so i really appreciate that when you do and yeah i invite you to a discussion in the comments about the tier list what do you think is better what do you think is worse in your opinion and see you guys in the next video hey there Thanks for watching and if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.